everyone. So the time has finally come for us to share our secret, our uh, Grand Design Imagine prototype with you. We've had it for about three months, so we uh, can't wait to show it to you. Yeah, so the 3210BH from Grand Design. This is going to be their new big bunk house. Uh, yeah, we're so excited to show it to you. Let me turn you around. And this is the side you have not been allowed to see, and I'll get your brains running real quick. Uh, but yeah, it's a, a long bunkhouse, 36 feet, 11 inches long, uh, a little over 8,000 pounds. I'll, I'll go over the specifics here in a minute. Uh, hitch weight's going to be in the high 800s. But yeah, here's the side you haven't been able to see. We're, we're so excited to show you this thing, and we're going to switch it up a little bit on this video. Normally, we do the exteriors first but i know you guys want to see the inside of this thing brooke's gonna take us on Come in on and uh man that we're i think the theme of this video is going to be checks some boxes yep. don't you think i mean this this floor don't plan yeah. checks more boxes than any floor plan we've seen there's no such for thing us. as a perfect rv but yeah for us i think this thing checks so many boxes let's go inside okay guys the 3210 bh let's go inside and find brooke and you'll immediately see why this is a very special floor plan. Boom. A yeah. seat for every butt. Every booty has a, has a recliner. Yep, every booty has a recliner. There's a lot more boxes to check here. So we're going to do the more traditional route. We're going to get up. Brooke's going to take us from the front door and show us around. Okay, guys. So remember that this is prototype one. So I'm going to let Brooke show you around and I'm going to uh, interject from time to time and let you know what might be changing, a very likely changing with some of this stuff. But Brooke, why don't you take it away? All right, very good. So welcome to our favorite area. Like uh, Corey mentioned, there's a recliner for every booty. So we are thoroughly enjoying checking the box that we all have somewhere to sit across from a TV. And if you've watched the videos, you know that I love having a TV across from the seating area. And we also love having somewhere to eat. So we tested a prototype before, had lots of seating, but we really love having somewhere to eat too. Um, so this checks that box for us. Let me interject right quick. Go for it. You can get a sofa here, a trifold sofa, if you wish. If you need more sleeping, you can get a trifold sofa on these two recliners. You don't have room here because of the island, but you can get there. Sorry, cool. take it away. Go, go for it. That's that's a great point. Um, we haven't needed that sleeping area because it's, it's a bunk house, but good to know. Right. Um, also, I want to mention counter space. As you saw when you walked in, there's an island. We have a little counter space over by the um, the stove and the oven. But what I love is having the coffee bar counter space too. Of course, I love setting up a lamp. And we've had our coffee here when we've been out camping. And there's lots of great storage here. You know, my favorite word in a camper. But there really is under the dinette, lots of cabinet space, lots of great storage on um, the island. And then the pantry storage, also one of my favorite parts because it's so deep. I can't even reach to the back of the storage for the pantry. We've, that's where I keep my extra grocery bags. <laughs> so guys, 12 volt fridge, and that's the reason this is so deep right here. There's a lot less components in a 12 volt fridge. This is a 10 cubic foot from Furion. This get this thing gets soda slushy every time we I mean, we have to turn it down, don't yeah, we? Yeah, it's super super cold, which it's great, but um, yeah, no lack of chill, no lack chill, of chill. That's the word. Yep. Yep. Very good. And then, um, but they're extra. The reason I say that they're extra deep, they have less components, so those pantries are also extra deep. Sorry, yeah. keep going. No, that was great. Um, all right, shall we? Let's head this way. Bunks. Okay. Bunks. Let's do bunks. All right. So enough bunks for the kids, and they think that they get a play bunk as well. Right. for our kids and plenty of space i don't feel like townley's outgrowing this bunk anytime soon Corey, do you have anything to add about that no i mean if your kids are six two six three these are going to be a little small for them but otherwise they're they're going to be just fine uh, i do want to note that uh, we have asked them to put hooks here or here and i think that would be super useful i'm also quite certain 99 percent sure this window is going away and this bunk is going to uh, hinge up they're also putting a window in right here, I think. So none of these changes I'm telling you are 100%, but you're very likely going to see them. And there's great so. daylight because every bunk right now um, has a window, but when they do move that one to the back, right. the light in here is awesome. And, and don't forget the storage door. That's right. There. There's a door. The kids think that's their door to of come in and out of their room. Right. Um, but great if you want to slide something in and out of this space and then plenty 
of drawer space for the kids' things. There's a drawer for every bunk. That's right. And, and they're good size, too. I mean, And yeah. we might have used a drawer, too, for dirty clothes, because it's a good way yeah. to We only got two kids and four drawers. Yeah. So, all right, where are we going next? All right, let's head to the back. And this is a pretty, I mean, most of you have seen this layout with the walkthrough bathroom, which you know we like and the bedroom so Corey, i'll let you go ahead and take that away yeah i think this is our second walkthrough bathroom i some people don't like them it, they we prefer them actually we like this better than the bathrooms in our 2800 and i think maybe we're a little less private in that area I, I don't know i don't know why we don't mind them but we certainly enjoy them um a couple of changes that are very likely happening this window is is gone and there's going to be floor to ceiling storage right here this was one problem uh, I call them problems. Corporate calls them opportunities. This was one problem with this layout and this bathroom. You can see there's very little storage in here. And then these are very shallow. I mean, you can see that. But that's going to go floor to ceiling now. Uh, they had to shorten the bathroom a little bit to keep uh, within the 36 feet 11. So the normal storage for towels in the, in the imagines that you see, that's gone. But you're going to get, that's going to be made up with by this uh, floor to ceiling storage right there. So, and we, th this window, I mean, we've never, we have to close it anyway. No, we close it, and yeah. there's so much natural light coming from all the windows over here right. that I don't think that it would be missed, quite honestly. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think that was a, a good call yeah. by them doing that. And then the, uh, the, be the bedroom, you guys have seen it's Imagine Bedrooms. It's uh, the same as all of them. Now, we have a big upgraded Brooklyn bedding mattress in here right now. So the cubbies look a little smaller. They're not. Uh, this mattress is just extra thick. And uh, But yeah, same, same hanging storage here, drawers here, overhead storage here. Now right now we're putting our towels up here. So the storage back here hasn't been a problem, but we'd prefer to put them in the bathroom. And yeah, over here the same thing. You've got your USBs and your plug-ins back here, reading lights. All of this is good. You do have an extra door here when you're packing up. Now... I'm going to show this thing to you closed here in a minute. That's one thing you're going to need to slide out most of it when you're packing up, especially the kitchen. But you can access the bedroom and you can access that while you're on the road, which is a huge deal. You're just going to come in through that door. You got to use your own potty. And there it is. So you can access the bathroom. And sleeting. you can access, if it stays here, this thermostat, right. which if you're like me and you forget to turn it off when you slide in, you can still get to it. Right, you can come in that door and you can turn off yep. this thermostat, a 50 amp unit, so there is two ACs, and here's the other one right the there. Yep. Yeah, so here's a good, nice little overview. Yeah, um, yeah something that's very likely changing again. Uh, that's a pretty girl on there. Look at that pretty girl on TV. So uh, something else that's changing here at the dinette is they are going to, my understanding is eliminate this window right here. They're going to keep this one, but eliminate that one. And these cabinets are going to extend all the way to the sides, which I, I think, what do you feel about? How do you feel about that? You know, it makes I more sense to me. It makes a lot more sense to me. Um, Cause again, lots of light, there's a window here, but this cabinet would be a good bit more useful to me if it were a little larger. So right. the fact that it's gonna extend out is, that's gonna be great. Right, and you, you've got a window over on this side if you need it, but honestly, that's the hookup side. You, you're not missing much nope. with uh, removing that window. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, let us know what you think, guys. Yeah, and I'm, I'm excited to see the changes that are going to be made based on some feedback, based on some more of, you know, them getting in the rig and checking out the prototype. So we think you're going to love it. We, right. we really enjoyed it. I'm, I'm really kind of sad to see it go. I know, right? I, we don't. We actually don't know how much longer we have it, well, so we'll we see. we know it's not forever. We know it's not forever. Fun. And uh, yeah, Brooke's falling in love with this thing. Just another good picture of the island. Uh, let's go outside as I, as I pan you around one more time to see all of these campsite windows. Let's go outside and check out the exterior. Uh, there's a couple of cool things that are gonna change out there. One specifically I really love. Okay, I almost forgot to show you the unit while it slid in. Uh, you can access your pantries, so that's a good thing. Uh, you've got uh, basically zero access to the fridge unless you, uh, you know, you got access, plenty of access to the freezer, of course. But yeah, she's a tight booger slid in. There's a lot going on there. Tons of room when she slid out. Posing slides is nice. But uh, but yeah, this hasn't really been a problem. Rack and pinion slides. I just slide it out a little bit. I don't have to worry. It's not the old Swintex. And then you can also access the bunks and all of the clothes back here. So you can get all your clothes in here. You can get most of your dry food in, any of your frozen food. But refrigerated stuff, you're going to have to slide out. 
other than that, you're pretty good to go. I've been, if any coolers, anything like that, I've just been putting them right here. All right, guys, I'm gonna run through the exterior pretty quickly because not a whole lot has changed uh, over the normal imagines from 2022. You still get your griddle back here. I love that. I haven't actually used this one yet because we have a favorite breakfast spot at the lake. That's where we've been going in this unit, and uh, and we can't get away from there. So, but I look, uh, these are good. These are good uh, griddles. People people seem to enjoy them. But I'm glad it's a griddle and not a stove top. We don't use those as much. You still got your fridge back here, and you got a little bit of storage over here. Step above steps for more ride. Got a nice Imagine logo there. Just it's very similar to uh, the 2022 Imagines. The two awnings, you've got two awnings here, of course, and these are going to be nine and a half foot awnings each. You're going to get two of them, and I love how the awning is actually on the slide, so you don't lose some of your shade with the slide. So the, 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 the awning obviously moves further out, and that's been really nice. You're going to get Goodyear Endurance come standard along with those wheels. Um, yeah, I'm glad they've done that. Let's come back here, Brooke with the stabilizer jacks. Now some of you want man or automatic stabilizers. I'm not I'm just not a big fan. I love the manual stuff and these BAL uh, jacks have been really really good. Made in the USA and they're super sturdy, a lot better than what's been used in the past. I hope they keep using them. And I actually prefer the manual over the uh, the automatics. It's just one less thing to go wrong. Um, as we go along down here, I love the big windows in here. Um, yeah, these are really good. You got your cable hook up right here. I can imagine putting a nice TV mount right here. Hey, grand design. Go ahead and put a TV mount right there. Why not, right? <laughs> um, so here's something kind of funny. So this, uh, I'm pretty sure this was uh, a prank on me by the guys at Imagine. Oh. They put my black tank flush on this side of the rig. And uh, when I brought it up, I said, why did y'all do that? He's like, yeah, that was the Corey special. I think they did that on purpose to mess with me. Your black tank flush will be on the other side, okay? It's been a lot of fun, people watching me throw the hose under the rig to flush out the black tank. Thanks, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, these speakers are very likely moving to somewhere under the awning. I reached out to them, I said, why are they not under the awning? They said, good point, they're gonna put them under the awning. Um, yeah, what else? Still got your big pass-through storage. We love that about the Imagines. Uh, there's some other, other brands have that too, but, but yeah, I love, on these trailers massive storage up front everything up here is basically the same as we see um, with the 2022 imagines nothing new here still got your new graphics package uh, still got your uh, electric tongue jack uh, I'm currently on a ease lift TR3 as far as the the, uh, the hitch is concerned I know a lot of you will ask that it's doing pretty good I've been surprised look forward to that video make sure to subscribe don't miss that one on this side so uh, just to be clear this particular unit is uh, 8920 pounds so almost 9,000 pounds the 7.3 Ford has been pulling it wonderfully I know really no different than the 2800 to be honest with you uh, you're gonna get a GVWR a gross vehicle weight of 10,195 and your hitch weight is about I think 870 something so uh, so yeah there you go on that in here, you've got solar standard on the Imagines. Uh, please excuse some of the personal stuff, but you got your solar charge controller under here. You can't really see that. There's your indicator right there letting you know uh, what kind of charge you're getting. So all of that's well and good. Um, fresh, tank, uh, fresh tank water fill right here. If you're doing it from gravity fill, your furnace is here, and then your dump is up here. I've actually, I've actually liked this dump location compared to the rear dump locations. Um, I don't know why, I don't know why. It's just easier to see, it's, it's, it's easier when you're pulling up, you know when you're pulling up to the dump station, uh, you, you don't always know exactly how far to go, but uh, that one's the closer to the, the truck, I guess, and so I've preferred it. All right, we're gonna go through the woods a second, and I'm gonna show you something really cool that they're adding to the production units, at least I'm pretty sure. Let's go back here. Are you for real going through the bushes? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Come on, let's go back here. Brooke don't have your shoes on, so. We're back, she's back here in flip-flops. Now, I mentioned, uh, if I didn't mention it, under this bottom bunk here, you've got your water heater on this side, but there's a little void right here. And I mentioned to the guys at Grand Design, hey, put a storage door here because these 50 amp plugs, 50 amp cords are huge. It would be nice to have a storage area here just for that cord 
or whatever you wanted but I'm thinking for the cord and then that would free up some space up front so you're very likely going to see a storage door right here it, they, they're making it shallow enough so it doesn't take it away from the drawers which I think that's important but yeah I think it's great that they're uh, they're I think they've already approved that I'm not a hundred percent sure and then make sure you see the back of the unit you guys have already seen this when we kind of debuted the fact that we had this thing uh, yeah the spare tire is mounted underneath the unit I like that it gives it a nice clean look back here and there is Beckett's secret door that uh, he does not allow adults to go into all right guys I think that's about it for the exterior you think of anything else I'm on no I think you, I hope we hit it all um I think so yeah we really just wanted to highlight what we love the most and there's a lot to love really if right you, if you're us and have the checklist we have so. yep checks yeah. a lot of boxes like we said um again big it's very important for you guys to know this is the first prototype so the production units you see at the dealer will likely have some of these changes maybe more changes so don't show up at the dealer and they may nix some of the changes we've talked about so don't show up at the dealer expecting one thing or the other i hope they make some of the changes we've talked about but uh, but they may not for whatever reason so i don't want to set unrealistic expectations but now you have seen our prototype 3210bh guys i hope you enjoyed this has been so much fun to do I think we might be getting some more prototypes uh, from year to year, so we will see. Uh, Grand Design has certainly said they've enjoyed our input on making this a better unit, and we have certainly enjoyed helping them do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm saying enjoyed a lot, aren't I? <laughs> and if you did, consider subscribing. See ya.